الحمد لله الحمد لله الصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأخذة من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم فقهنا في الدين آمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I hope and pray that you all are doing good. Uh, today is our uh, lesson number 51 of uh, Let's Learn Arabic Grammar. And our main topic today is uh, Hal. So this video is about Hal. And Hal, when it, it comes in Jumla Felia, then it's, uh, it is a type of detail. So it's a type of maf'ool. And you know, uh, in previous from previous lessons, we have been doing uh, different types of detail, and we already did first four type: maful bihi, maful fihi, maful lahu, maful mutlaq. And today is uh, the, uh, our topic, hal, which is the fifth uh, maful. So, what is hal? What's the definition? What does it do? Hal describes the state of either fi either file, the doer, or maful bihi, the object, or sometimes it describes both at the same time. And in some sentences, uh, sometimes it describes the surrounding detail of the action when it's taking place. So, uh, if you uh, uh, so. In other words, Hal tells us how the action took place by describing the state of the doer file or the object, the maful, right? And if it often translates as an adverb, like angrily or happily or luckily. So it, some uh, sometimes it translates as an adverb as an adverb, or as while, or as. So these keywords you may you might be seeing in the translation when hal is coming, but uh, it is not limited to these translation. So there are, can be other translation also. Okay. So. What about the function of hal? We uh, from uh, from definition we knew that it uh, it describes different things in different different ayat in different uh, Arabic sentences. Uh, sometimes the hal um, uh, may be describing the state of the uh, of file the doer. Sometimes it it is describing the state of maf'ul, the object. Uh, the direct object, and sometimes in some conditions, it uh, it might be describing uh, the state of both at the same time. And in a, in another uh, sentence, another ayat, uh, it might be describing this uh, the state of the surrounding of the fail when it's taking place. So there are different; these are different conditions. So in the next few slides. What we are going to do, we are going to uh, learn uh, how uh, it happens in a Joomla failure with examples. So this is the first condition in which Hal is, uh, is describing the state of the doer of the action, the file, right? So we have two examples from Quran, uh, this one. First one on the right side, this is from uh, Surah Al-Qasas. Uh, uh, ayat is ayat twenty one. It's a, a big uh, this this portion. Fakharaja minha haifan. This is a this is a part of a big ayat, but uh, we are focusing on on this uh, part because uh, we want to know uh, a condition in which hal is describing the state of the doer of the action. So this this sentence, which is uh, which is beginning with a fail. Fa is harfataf, Faraja is fail, fail madi, right? You know it. So this is fail, 
Karaja. And this fail, which is fail imadi, hua form, has hua in it. So inside doer. So this is fail, fail and the doer. Fakaraja minha haifan. Then he left it fearfully. Then he left it fearfully. So uh, he, minha from the, from the city. If you uh, can, uh, if you remember this ayat, Musa alayhi salam uh, was leaving the city because he was scared that they are going to uh, come after him after uh, he accidentally killed a person, right? So uh, then uh, this portion of the ayat is saying, then he left it fearfully or then he left uh, while he was scared, right? So uh, the, uh, here we we are look we are seeing the sentence with a with an adverb fearfully, okay. Or it can, we can say he uh, then he left he then he left it as he was scared, hyphen, okay. Then uh, the next example. So fearfully is telling the state of the doer who left he and uh, hyphen is describing the state of he musa salam, in this ayat and then uh, we come to the second example which is uh, from surah araf and it is uh, the number of ayat is 119 again this is uh, this is uh, this portion is a part of a, a big long ayat. Uh, so in here it says one kalabu sawirin, one kalabu sawirin, and they returned be little, and they returned be little. Wow is again atfa. So in kalabu sawirin, they returned. Who returned? They. So this uh, this again belittled. Belittled Sagarin is describing the state of whom? They. File. Right? So mm, the state of the file who, who returned uh, is, uh, is shown here by this word, sagirin. And if you look at this word, this is on the pattern of una, ina, ina. So it's a, um, it's a uh, plural, plural masculine, plural masculine, sagirina. That's why, uh, because the file over here, uh, file over here in, in Qalabu is plural masculine. So uh, the uh, hal is coming. Uh, with a uh, pattern of plural masculine. So far, so good? Okay, now the next condition in which hal, uh, so we have example uh, on this slide in which hal is describing the state of the object. Maful bihi. Okay, so th this ayat uh, on the... Um, First ayat on the top, Ra'aytuhum li sajidin. So over here, uh, fail is Ra'aytu. Ra'aytu is fail and file. Tu is a uh, file attached, uh, Damir Muttasil. So this is a uh, file. I saw, I saw, and and whom is, whom is maful bihi? I saw whom? Them. Okay. So Yusuf alayhi salam in this ayat, again, this is a, a part of a long ayat and in which Yusuf alayhi salam is telling his dream to his father. And in, and in his dream, he saw uh, the sun and the moon and 11 star, stars prostrating uh, to him. So when he is stating his uh, dream, he says, I saw them as these were prostrating to me. So, Sajidin, Sajidin, prostrating. Sajidin, prostrating. So, Sajidin is telling 
uh, in this sentence, Sajidin is telling the state of whom, which is maful bihi. Whom, which is maful bihi, uh, the object. Because fail in this uh, jumla failure is ra'aytu, seeing, I saw them. Okay? So over here, so again, you 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 notice uh, you should not notice that uh, maful bihi is plural masculine home. That's why again we have um, sajidin uh, plural masculine. Okay, so this hal uh, sajidin is hal and it is describing describing the state of maful bihi. Okay. So now the next one. Uh, this ayat is from Surah Baqarah. And this ayah is from Surah Baqarah and it is 50th ayah. And in in this, the multiple um, multiple fail, uh, fail are coming. But at the end, look. And remember when we parted the sea for you and saved you and drowned uh, Pharaoh's people while you were looking, while you were looking at them, when the seawater covered them. So here, look, there are, uh, let me again take a red one for fa uh, fail. Farakna, Anjaina. Agarakna. These are fail and these are matuf uh, uh, upon each other. Fa anjaina, anjaina is matuf ala farakna, agarakna is matuf ala anjaina. So these are all fail. So these uh, fail, fail madin. All three are fail madin. And uh, these are matuf upon each other. Anjaina is matuf uh, ala farakna and agrakna is matuf ala anjaina. So these are three fail and uh, there are uh, um, file na again every time file is nahnu 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 and bikum, bikum is maful bihi, indirect maful bihi. Mutalib will fail. But uh, this is indirect maful bihi. You can say uh, maful bihi ghair, say, ghair sari, sorry. So here uh, kum is maful bihi. Here again kum, we saved you. Saved whom we saved you. Mm, for whom we uh, parted the sea, you you all become for you all, and uh, whom are we uh, drawn Alifaron. So here the third uh, the third uh, the second maful bihi for a separate fail is uh, Alifaron. Because this is maful bihi, that's why it's mansub ala firon. Okay. So, va'antum tanzurun. While you were looking. So, va'antum tanzurun. This whole jumla ismiya is describing whom? Is describing whom? Whole jumla ismiya. Which is hal. This jumla ismiya is describing the state of kum. In over here, and both kum are for Israelites. So this va antum tanzurun is a hal for maful bihi. For maful bihi. So the uh, um, on this page we have two examples in which the hal, which is mansu. Uh, when it comes as jumla ismiya, uh, jumla ismiya, then we call it jumla halia, and it is fi mahali nasb. We are going to say it is uh, in the state of nasb. 
so the, uh, these two these two examples are uh, are showing uh, the condition in which hal describes the state of the object maful bi okay you got it so here uh, sajidin is des describing whom and wa antum tanzurun is describing what they were doing kum now this is uh, the third condition in which hal is describing the state of both doer and uh, doer the file and the object maful bi so uh, this this is just uh, an arabic sentence it's not from quran it says fahasat tabibul marida jalisaini so here the fail is the fail is fahasa which is past tense past tense fail is past tense and it has hua but we have an outside doer okay so tabibu is doer and the doctor was checking and whom he was checking patient so patient is what patient is maf maful maful bi jalisaini jalisaini is hal and it is dual dual remember ani aini aini so jalisaini both were sitting while both were sitting so here uh this this dual ism is describing both both um uh, uh, the doer tabib and the maful bihi mari so the so th this the, uh, like jalisaini the state of sitting is for both the doctor and the patient Bo uh, the doctor checked the patient while both were sitting and uh, with translations you might be noticing uh, different types of translation here we have while okay and, and in some examples we had as but here again while here we have as i saw the, them as uh, these were prostrating to me so as so these are different types of translation for hal okay now we uh, the fourth condition in which uh, hal is uh, hal is describing the, the state of the surrounding of the action so here hal uh, again it is a jumla failure because it is starting with uh, a fail kharajtu so this these all conditions are um, described uh, like examples of hal in jumla failure and uh, this sentence this sentence is just arabic sentence it's not from quran kharajtu ila al haqli wa shamsu mushriqatun i set out to the fields as the sun was rising so here look again uh, let's uh, um, let's label them Uh, like where is the fail fail is kharaja kharaja and where is the file file is to i i set out ilal haqli mutaliq bil fail washamsu mushriqatun what is this washamsu mushriqatun this is describing the sun was rising like if we if we translate like this i set out to the field and the sun and the sun was rising we may uh, we may translate but what is the relationship of sun was rising with i setting out to the field so sun was rising is telling us the surrounding condition of the action when it was taking place okay so i set out to the field as the sun was rising this type of hal is called uh, jumla haliya and this waw that uh, at the uh, beginning of a jumla ismiya is called waw haliya okay okay so uh, 
दो ओरिजिनल सेंटेंस इज जुमला फेलिया स्टार्टिंग विद फेल बट दिस जुमला इसमिया इज कमिंग एज द हॉल ऑफ दिस फेल ओके so these are uh, different conditions in which hal describes different uh, components of jumla failure sometimes uh, doer sometimes uh, maful bihi sometimes both and sometimes the surrounding of the action now uh, with these examples that we did in last four slides you might be you might have noticed that hal can come in different forms different kinds like you can uh, you can find hal in the form of a single word mufrad hal in the form of a single word like hai hayfan sagirina sajidina so these are single word and you might find uh, hal in in the form of a jumla jumla hal like wa shamsu mushriqa mushriqatun or wa antum wa antum tanzurun so these are different examples of jumla hal okay so these are two form, uh, forms uh, in which hal can come there are other forms also so today uh, we did Uh, the fifth type of detail the fifth type of maful and so far what we did is hal in jumla failia just keep in mind that hal can uh, comes in jumla failia and ismia both so it can uh, in jumla failia uh, you might see a hal and a hal can come in jum jumla ismia also so rules about hal coming in jumla ismia and other details inshallah we will be doing in advanced now section not today because this is a uh, uh, nowadays in uh, we are doing basic now so this is in uh, uh, about this is about all about hal in jumla failia okay if you have any question you can ask me uh, during inter interactive session okay so that's uh, the end of today's uh, lesson uh, let's conclude the session with dua subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh